stop and say, well, you're going the wrong way. Well, you've got to try a little kindness. Yes, show a little kindness. And just shine your light for everyone to see. Glenn Campbell and try a little kindness at 408 from WCOP. The following announcement has been paid for by the John Burke Society. Yes, the author of liberty has given us the land of the free. These free people have achieved a higher level of civilization and accomplishment than man has ever known. And yet our freedom and very civilization is under attack by those who are dedicated to our destruction. To learn what you can do to preserve America and to oppose her enemies, write the John Birch Society, San Marino, California. This message is brought to you by members of the John Birch Society who care about America. Preceding announcement has been paid for by the John Burt Society. WCOP This is Sue Thompson and you two timey one time too often. 409 from WCOP.
two-timey, one time, too often. Sue Thompson on WCOP with Neil Grant at 411. Stand by your man. Tell him about the great opportunities now open to him as a tractor-trailer driver. There is now a great demand for qualified tractor-trailer drivers. Fifteen million tractor-trailers will be on the road by 1970. Your man could be earning ten to $15,000 a year after completing a short practical instruction program at New England Tractor-Trailer Training School in Quincy. He can train locally, full or part-time, mornings, afternoon, or evenings, while continuing at his present job and begin his new career within eight weeks from now. New England Tractor Trailer will provide job placement assistance upon graduation, and their school is approved for training veterans. For complete information on this great opportunity, call 323-2700. Operators are on duty now, or write WCOP 234 Clarendon Street, Boston. That number again is 323-2700, 323 2700. New England Tractor Trailer Training School could point the way to a better life for you and your man. WCOP Neil Grant. Providing you to see the Genie C. Riley Show featuring Bobby Vare, Jerry Wallace, Lawrence Reynolds, Earl Richards, and starring Genie C. Riley and the Harper Valley PTA in person Sunday, November 23rd. Afternoon show at 2.30 at the Worcester Auditorium in Worcester. Evening show at 7.30 at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Providence, Rhode Island. Tickets are just 2 3 and $4. Plenty of good seats still available at both shows at the door. Don't miss Jeannie C. Riley and her all-star review. Should be something. November 23rd. we got two big shows for you. Afternoon in Worcester and evening performance in Providence. 4.13 on WCOP, heading home on the grand program for this Monday. In the cash call, $31.20. This is the sound of Jerry Reed and Georgia. On my mind. Georgia. Georgia. The whole night through. Just an old sweet song. Got Georgia, got Georgia on my mind. Yeah. Georgia, Georgia, the song of you. It comes soft and clear. Like moonlight through the pine yeah. Other arms reach out for me And other eyes Smile tenderly Still in peaceful dreams I see back to you, yeah, Georgia, Georgia, all the whole night through, just an old sweet song, got Georgia on my mind. That's Georgia on my mind. Jerry Reed on WCOP. 415, Nashville Underground Sound. It's a fact, you know, that the trucking industry has become the largest and one of the most profitable businesses in the country. Thousands of men have made successful and rewarding careers, keeping America on the move. You can be a part of this constantly growing field. Bach Business Opportunities, Route 1, Norwood, invites you to take the first step by investigating an unusual opportunity, letting Bach put you in the trucking business. That's right, if you decide trucking is for you, 
Bach will provide you with a brand new or used diesel tractor. Arrange all work contracts plus ICC number, permits, fuel stickers, and reciprocity plates. You make a small initial investment and payments will be easily arranged so that you'll own the truck in 36 months. The best part is the money you can make. It's possible to net as much as $300 to $400 a week after truck expenses. Find out more about this exciting adventure by calling 762-7200. That's 762-7200. You just may qualify. Ask for Richard Roth or Robert Lyons. Buck Business Opportunities. Route 1, Norwood. In the cash call, jackpot 3120 for you. Tonight, partly cloudy and not quite so cold with a low in the 30s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy and warmer with a high in the mid-50s. In Boston now, 46 WCOP degrees on the grand program. 417, Jack Barlow sings. Nobody wants to hear it like it is. Well, here comes Widow Johnson Looking like death warmed over The poor old thing don't look like she will ever get another day older But I'd better smile and lie again And tell her what a fine, fine shape she's in Cause nobody wants to hear it Like it really is Like it really is I got a friend down at the office In love with his secretary She's 19, he's 48, and that's a big handicap to carry. Well, he asked if I thought she loved him too, so I lied and I said, oh, sure she do. Cause nobody wants to hear it like it really is, like it really is. Nobody wants to hear it like it is. Get bigger and black around the truth keeps a disappearing. Well, the Pentagon says we're a win in the war. Everybody knows the stretch of the truth a bit far, but nobody wants to hear it like it really is. Like it really is. Nobody wants to hear it like it is. Nobody wants to face it like it is. Jack Barlow sings, nobody wants to hear it like it really is. On WCOP 419 with Neil Graham. When it comes to buying beer, wine, or beverages, you've got two choices. Martinetti Liquors or some other store. Martinetti's is the largest beverage supermarket in the world. Some other store is just some other store. Picky party planners know there's more to pick from at Martinetti's. Next time you're buying beverages, come to Martinetti's and take your pick. Martinetti Liquors. 1650 Soldiers Field Road Extension, Brighton, where being picky pays off. Now then, let me clue you in as to what's happening sports-wise. The uh, bowl game activity for uh, this season has been announced. The University of Notre Dame uh, broke a 45-year tradition by accepting a bid uh, to the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. And the Fighting Irish are expected to play either Kansas or Arkansas in the New Year's Day Classic. Just thought you might like to know that as we pass it along to you. More bowl game information being passed along to you this afternoon from WCOP. So stand by. It's 420. made it through because of you and your sweet love. I wish that I could count the time. Peace and comfort filled my mind because of you and your sweet love. Try 
to tell me it wasn't God above that sent me you and your sweet love. Almost every night it seems you come walking through my dreams, precious you. Connie Smith lays it on you, you and your sweet love on WCOP 423 with Neil Graham. Music, music, music. Guitars, guitars, and still more guitars. Now, I've got a question for you. Where have you ever seen 400 guitars all at one time, hmm? Or 50 drum sets, 45 pianos, and 35 organs? Well, there is such a place, you know. It's the Fitchburg Music Store. Get that name now. Fitchburg Music, only 50 miles from Boston on Route 2, and it's got a world of music inside. Why don't you take a ride out and see them? Fitchburg Music is open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights till 9 o'clock with the greatest array of musical merchandise you've ever seen. We've got Martin, Fender, Gretchen, Gibson, and all the great names. We've got Ludwig and Rogers drums and Yamaha pianos. That's right. So come on down. They've got a special free record, too, that they're giving away to anyone who mentions WCOP. And you'll see music like you've never seen before at New England's complete department store of music. That's Fitchburg Music Store. 175 Main Street in downtown Fitchburg, just off of Route 2. It's uh, worth the ride, and there's nothing like it anywhere in New England. Remember the name now. Fitchburg Music. You'll be glad you did. 424 from WCOP. Bobby Goldsboro sings. Sometimes I imagine myself as a drifter, seeker of fortunes, connoisseur of great wines, dashing through meadows of yellow and green, trying to catch the impossible dream. Leaving the straight life behind Sometimes my thoughts may find me in Mexico Drinking tequila, going out of my mind Having a ball on a couple of balls Treating the ladies to corn on the cob Leaving the straight life behind Suddenly all my silly thoughts disappear She comes to me softly with crackers and beer Winking and blinking and blowing my ear Running away with my mind It's great to be in love I'm not really thinking of Leaving the straight life behind I'm just playing a game in my mind Once in a while in my mind I go bumming Going to nowhere with no worry of time Running along chasing after a train Humming a song in the sun and the rain Leaving the straight life behind I can just see me on a tropical island Riding the surf and drinking coconut wine Having me fun with golden girls in the sand Chasing the sun through an innocent land Leaving the straight life behind Suddenly all my silly thoughts disappear She comes to me softly with crackers and beer Winking and blinking and blowing my ear Running away with my mind It's great to be in love I'm not really thinking of Leaving the 
Bobby Goldsboro leaving the straight line. I'm just playing a game in my mind. 426 with Neil Graham on WCOP. You know there's stiff competition for jobs today. But did you know that companies are also competing for your services? At General Dynamics of Quincy, we know that your first choice will be an interesting job that offers you the most benefits in return for your time and energy. Right now, we have openings for painters and welders, with and without experience, with a training program for welders. We're offering you an unbeatable employment deal, enjoyable work, excellent wages, regular wage increases, paid vacations and holidays, a company-paid retirement program, and job stability. We're competing for your services, and we know that what we offer will make us your first job choice. Our immediate openings are for painters and welders, with and without experience. Our employment office at the General Dynamics Shipyard in Quincy is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4 p.m. Stop in or call us at 471-4200. That's 471-4200. General Dynamics, an equal opportunity employer. Heading the competition for your services. Incidentally, the General Dynamics Employment Office is also open on Saturdays from 8 to 1 p.m. It's the countrywide sound. WCOP 1150. In Boston, 46 is the temperature at this very moment from WCOP. 428 on the grand program from Dave Kirby. Her and the car and the mobile home. My wife and I were happy in our trailer. But she didn't dig my running round all night. She threatened me a couple of times with leaving. But I just laughed and took it kind of light. Should have paid attention to her warning. When she said she'd leave me if I didn't change Cause when I come home about sunup this morning I detected something mighty strange Her and the car and the mobile home were gone, boys She was taking off while I was a-carrying on Now things I really shot I came home to an empty lot Cause her and the car and the mobile home were gone all around me were laughing and it made me feel about 10 inches tall guess I never thought she'd really leave me not to mention taking home and all talk about somebody they will do it. I didn't know what to do or where to go I found little consolation in my wardrobe but she left scattered on the patio Her and the car and the mobile home were gone, boys She was taking off while I was a-carrying on Now things are really shot I came home to an empty lot Cause her and the car and the mobile home were gone Her and the car and the mobile home Gone. Dave Kirby on 1150, Radio Boston, WCOP, AM and FM. WCOP, Neil Cran. Joseph Kennedy hovering near death. <laughs> Bill Rossi, WCOP News at 431. Joseph Kennedy remains unconscious and near death at this hour. Other members of the politically powerful family have gathered at the Patriarch Cyanusport home. The 81-year-old former ambassador suffered a heart attack Saturday. His condition has steadily worsened. He has been an invalid since a stroke in 1961. Kennedy was father to a U.S. president and two senators. His only remaining son, Senator Edward Kennedy, has canceled all appointments to be in Hyannisport. His wife, Joan, is also with the elder Kennedy. Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, the former wife of President John Kennedy, is flying in from Greece. Former British Prime Minister Anthony Eden is now in Boston for a medical checkup at the Leahy Clinic. The former Prime Minister, who is now known as Lord Avon, arrived in Boston this afternoon accompanied by his wife. Eden telling newsmen the checkup is just routine. He intends to leave Friday for Barbados if nothing is found to be wrong.
What's believed to be one of the largest out-of-court settlements in a personal injury case in the nation was revealed today in Boston. Papers filed in U.S. District Court show that a New Jersey firm has agreed to pay $820,000 in settlement of a case involving a Brookline youth injured in an accident in Connecticut. The case involved 22-year-old John Buckman. He was injured in March 1968 after he had hitched a ride while on leave from Fort Dix, New Jersey. Buckman lost one hand and part of the other and suffered facial injuries in the accident near New Haven. The company involved was the Wilson Freight Company of Ohio. The car Buckman was riding was being driven by Walter Jackson of Hartford, Connecticut. Governor Sargent says he hopes he will not have to levy any additional taxes next year. In a TV interview last night, Sargent conceded the state needs more money, but he hopes that with an end to the Vietnam War, more will be available now from the federal government. Boston Mayor Kevin White says the Boston Air Pollution Control Commission will conduct a study of possible sources of air pollution in the city. White, who announces the inventory today, says the survey will include samplings of homes and apartment buildings, as well as commercial and industrial buildings. The John Birch Society has issued a strong statement of support for Clement Hainsworth. In its official publication this month, the Society urges all its members to mount a message campaign into President Nixon and to certain senators in support of Hainsworth's nomination to the U.S. Supreme Court. The defense in the Chicago riot conspiracy trial has made another fruitless request for a mistrial. Attorney Leonard Weinglass told of open telephone bills and Chicago police going through defense office wastebaskets. In denying the motion, Judge Julius Hoffman called the spying charges unsubstantiated. The White House has denied that President Nixon ordered, discussed, or saw any advanced text of Vice President Agnew's speech of last week. That's the one where Agnew blasted TV news coverage. The denial comes in response to a report in Time magazine that Mr. Nixon personally ordered the speech. White House News Secretary Ron Ziegler did say, however, that some White House staffs may have contributed some thoughts. Apollo 12 entered the moon's gravitational pull today, and the three spacemen have begun preparing for the rocket firing tonight that should put them in lunar orbit. For Pete Conrad, Alan Bean, and Richard Gordon, the moment of truth will come tonight on the backside of the moon. Out of radio contact with Earth, the pilots will fire a braking blast lasting nearly six minutes with their main spacecraft engine. The White House has noted that weekend peace demonstrations in Washington were generally peaceful, with a few glaring examples of disturbances. But new Secretary Ziegler stressed that President Nixon has no intention of changing his Vietnam policy because of the protests. Anti-war moratorium directors aren't giving up, though. They've announced grassroots activities at the local level for December 12th and 13th, and also Christmas Eve. WCOP News Time, 435. WCOP Weather. Partly cloudy and warmer tonight, lows in the 30s. Continued cloudy and warm tomorrow with the highs in the mid-50s. Now, 45. Bill Rossi reporting for Radio Boston WCOP. A broadcast service of Plow Incorporated. I got great big blisters on my bloodshot eyes looking at that long-legged woman up ahead. What she does simply walking down the sidewalks of that city makes me think about a stray cat getting fed. She's got a whole lot of motion in her soul, I know, but her soul ain't the place she lets it show. She got a body, oh yeah. She got emotion, oh yeah. Lord, I'm blistered, oh yeah. She done tore my soul apart, put big blisters on my heart. What a mighty crazy cooking way to go. Taking all them patent pills And ever since she started running around from bar to bar I just can't eat a bite or keep my stomach settled down
That's Johnny Cash in a song called Blistered. Heard on 1150 WCOP with Neil Grant hanging around on a Monday afternoon. Nice to have you along. And the Cash Call Jackpot, incidentally, let me remind you that we are currently offering $31.20. So jot it down and keep it by the phone. And who knows, the uh, figure just might jump a little bit. Carpets by Adams and Sweat. Carpets by Adams and Sweat. Now that the days are growing shorter and more time will be spent indoors, you owe it to your family to brighten up your home with fresh, clean rugs. Adams and Sweat can help you do this work by cleaning all your rugs in their plant or sending professionals to your home to shampoo your wall-to-wall carpeting. If you need new carpet, Adams and Sweat will send one of their carpet counselors to your home with samples so that you can match colors with your furniture and walls. The biggest news at Adams and Sweat this fall is the new line of famous carpets, which is an exclusive one. Prices start at only five ninety-five per square yard, and Adams and Sweat can certify that similar carpeting sells for two to three dollars per square yard higher. It will pay you to call at Adams and Sweat Showroom, 380 Dorchester Avenue in South Boston. Carpets by Adams and Sweat. Have a whole new beautiful world at your feet. Call them to 88,000. The hardest, it's the hardest friend in town. WCOP. In Boston, it's now 4.38, and this is the sound of the groovy grub worm. Comes from Harlow Wilcox and Company. Worm. That's Harlow Wilcox on WCOP with Neil Grant hanging around here on a Monday afternoon. Now, listen to this. Well, hi, Boston, and everybody out there. This is Ernest Tubb inviting you to join me and all the Texas Troubadours Tuesday night, November the 18th, at the grand opening celebration of the new Boston City Club, 967 Commonwealth Avenue, right here in Boston. That's Tuesday night, November the 18th. We'll be looking for you, so come on out and be with us. <laughs> the cash call jackpot. Thank you very much, Ernest. Uh, we've got 3120. I mentioned that earlier, and uh, I uh, continue to mention it because I want to bring uh, bring the attention to the cash call jackpot because it just might not stay 3120 for much longer, and I'm not going to tell you any more about it. Take 80 steps into a grand new world with a bunch of wonderful kids and America's new singing sensation, Wayne Newton. Take 80 steps to Jonah. <laughs> Wayne Newton stars with Joe Van Cleef in this family size entertainment that will delight everybody. 80 Steps to Jonah, in Technicolor from Warner Brothers. Rated G, General Audience. Don't miss Wayne Newton starring in his first motion picture, 80 Steps to Jonah, world premiere, now playing at the Savoy Theater, Washington Street, Boston. 
This is Wilma Burgess. It's got Misty Blue, and it comes from Wilma Burgess on WCOP at 444. The home of the Western Gentlemen, Radio Boston, WCOP. Let me clue you in here. With heavy uh, winter driving coming on, don't worry about whether your automobile engine is going to make it. And I stop by Precision Motor Rebuilders in Somerville and trade in that old engine and transmission for a factory rebuild engine to make your car perform like new. And you can take up to 24 months to pay with no down payment. And the cost of Precision, incidentally, could be less than the excise tax on a brand new car. This winter, drive with confidence. But first, drive over to Precision Motor Rebuilders at 460 Somerville Avenue in Somerville. Have a worry-free winter, along with the rest of the year as well, for many a year to come. That's Precision Motor Rebuilders, 460 Somerville Avenue in Somerville, 445. Farron Young sings Galveston. Galveston, oh Galveston, I still hear your sea winds blowing, I still see her dark eyes glowing. Was 21 when I left Galveston. Galveston, oh Galveston, I still hear your sea waves crashing as I watch the cannon flashing. I clean my gun and dream of. Galveston I still see her standing by the water Standing there looking out to see Is she waiting there for me On the beach where we used to run Galveston
at Galveston I still see her standing by the water Standing there looking out to see Is she waiting there for me On the beach where we used to run That's the sound of Farron Young in Galveston on WCOP. It is now 4.48 with Neil Grant on a Monday afternoon. Continuing reports now on the fight of Apollo 12, brought to you by Dave Dinger Ford, Route 128 and Route 37 in Braintree. Now here's Jay Barbary at the NBC News Apollo Space Center. This is Jay Barbary, NBC News. Astronauts Charles Pete Conrad, Richard Gordon, and Alan Bean are 16,000 miles from the moon, six hours away from firing their spaceship into lunar orbit. At the moment, the astronauts are still asleep in their effort to get into the sleep cycle for man's second moon exploration adventure. They should awake in little more than 30 minutes. Conrad and Bean's touchdown on the lunar surface is scheduled to take place at 1.53 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday. During their first moon walk, the two astronauts plan to set up a $25 million experiment station called ALSEP. The scientific package consists of five instruments to be powered by a nuclear generator and could tell us if storms of radiation particles from the sun could be exploited someday to rid Earth of its growing air pollution problem. Scientists now feel that what little atmosphere there is on the moon is constantly being swept clean by the radiation showers. If this is true, they say future generations could build industries on the moon that pollute this planet's atmosphere and leave the Earth as a clean place to live in our solar system. This planet now has a population of 3.5 billion, which is expected to grow to 30 billion in the next century. Scientists say the moon could help in many ways to supply the needs for such a population that will get its food through space technology. Jay Barbary, NBC News at the Manned Spacecraft Center, Houston. When you buy a car, reach for the moon. Get a Dave Dinger deal. New Fords are A1 used cars. You're far ahead when you see Dave Dinger Ford, routes 128 and 37, Braintree. And listen for continuing reports on the flight of Apollo 12 on WCOP. Born to love you. Born to love you. was empty, so blue and alone, then you put your hand in mine, and I knew why I was born, born to love you, born to love
That's Jimmy Newman of Sign Call Point to Love You on WCOP. From historic Bunker Hill to Blackstone, from Fall River to Fitchburg, it's all WCOP country. The music of America, 24 hours a day. In sports, uh, Los Angeles Rams are still the only undefeated pro football team. You might have uh, heard by now that the Coastal Division leaders scored uh, 23 points in the second half to down Philadelphia 23-17. Bob Rosberg made an even prior round of 72 stand-up as he won the PGA Club Professional Championship at Scottsdale, Arizona. Jimmy Wright finished second. Sonny Jurgensen, quarterback of the uh, Washington uh, Redskins, suffered minor cuts and scratches in an automobile accident in Washington. This is the home of the Western Gentleman, WCOP, 1150. Oh, this must be the place where you can hear Jack Reno sing. We all go crazy at 453. Tommy Jackson scares himself with the way out things he does. Tommy's mommy sits and dreams about a man who never was. Mr. Jackson tears his hair for the bills he has to pay. Yes, we all go crazy in our own particular way. Bobby likes to hurt his friends, and he does it with a grin. Billy smiles and lets the people step all over him. Old man Brown has cried so long, his tears are turning gray. Yes, we all go crazy in our own particular way. What's it all about? What's it all for? Life is full of empty games where nobody scores. Sally's got too much love to give, so she's where she can Mary's got no love at all She's afraid of every man Preacher Jenkins wrings his hands He's forgotten how to pray Yes, we all go crazy In our own particular way What's it all about? Where can we turn? Life is full of little lessons Nobody learns Johnny totes a great big sign He don't want to go to war Jimmy shakes up on the line Cause he has to kill some more Prophets cry but no one hears The things they have to say Yes, we all go crazy In our own particular way Yes, we all go crazy in our own particular way. Jack Reno, and we all go crazy in our own particular way. Ah, look at this. In the cash call jackpot, I told you so. $34 in the cash call jackpot at this very moment. We've uh, decided to, uh, you know, put a few bucks in since the boss isn't around right now. 34 bucks is the amount I put about uh, $2.80 Added that to the 3120 we had comes out to 34. That's how much is in the pot now. Jot it down and keep it by the phone. Country Radio with the Boston brand WCOP 1150. I've got the sound of Danny Davis in the Nashville Brass at 456.
That's the Nashville Brass, the song called Yesterday When I Was Young. WCOP, incidentally, is pleased to announce the appointment of Manchester Music in Manchester, New Hampshire, as an official WCOP country and western headquarter. You'll find one of the largest selection of country and western recordings in all New Hampshire at Manchester Music, plus a complete selection of in-depth pop, folk, rock, and classical recordings, and also pre-recorded cassettes, cartridges, and reel-to-reel tapes. Now, if Manchester Music doesn't have it, they'll specially order it for you. All you have to do is ask for Ruth Demers. You can count on her experience to bring a quick service on any request. Manchester Music is Manchester's most experienced and most modern music center. They're open Monday and Thursday nights till 9. Visit Manchester Music soon for anything on records, cassettes, or pre-recorded cartridges. Manchester Music in the center of Manchester, New Hampshire at 62 Lowell Street. Pardon me, miss, but uh, what time do we get to Boston? At 2.30. Oh, excuse me again, miss, but uh, is there a country music station in Boston? Look, mister, I hope you don't think that I tell everyone that wants to know that there's a country music station called Radio Boston WCOP. What kind of girl do you think I am? Oh, no, no offense, miss. It, it's just my favorite kind of music, and I'm glad to know that I can count on WCOP. You probably think that just because I told you about WCOP that you can get my name and telephone number and send me flowers and, and take me to dinner when we get to Boston. Oh, no, ma'am. I, I just happen to like country music, and I... I really appreciate knowing about WCOP. You know, I like it, too. And my name is Mary Ann Moore, and I live in Saugus. I'm 22 years old in Boston. Really has some terrific restaurants, and I love Red Roses. And my telephone number is 999-9999. Wow. $34 in the cash call jackpot. WCOP, Neil On Countrywide 1150, Radio Boston, WCOP, and WCOP-FM at 5 o'clock. NBC Radio, News on the Hour.